hello friends welcome back in last video we saw the concepts related to array of string so this video will cover the example on array of string and the example that we are going to study is searching operation in array of string so basically you need to have a array of strings okay then after you need one string that you want to search in this array okay and once you got that string will display the message that string is found and if that string is not present we will display the message not found so let us declare the required variable so uh, i am directly writing the function void main okay so this is i so here i need one string of array so let us name it as fruits so say i want to store approximately 5 fruits and of size 10 then as i told you i need one more string that we want to search in this array so for that we declare one more string variable here and it is just one string and this is array of string now just iterate through a loop i need one index variable so i am declaring that also okay so what is the first step first step is to input the value for this 2d array 2d array of characters or array of string so for that i am going to use for loop so for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus here you will give one user friendly message so user can understand what to enter so printf and enter the fruit name like this okay just i am skipping it so scanf or you can even use getf also so that will be quite easy for us right so getf fruits of i right in last video only i told you the concepts related to this so this particular for loop will input a value from a user and put it in the array like this so just assume that these values are inputted by the user now we want to perform the search operation so for that also we have to display we have to input a string from a user that we want to search so again we will give one message to the user printf enter string or enter fruit to search okay so since this is a fruit array that's why i'm naming it as fruits enter fruit okay we are searching for the single fruit only so that's why enter fruit to search so this is just a message get printed as it is on your console so get s s now once we inputted this string also then after we have to match this s string to each and every string in our fruit array so for that also i have to iterate through and do right so again let me start with zeroth position so i equal to zero i less than five because we have only five array string now we want to compare the string stored at s and the string stored at this particular row position now for that again we are going to use ready made library function that is string compare strcmp or suppose you want to perform string insensitive comparison in that case you can go for strcmpi okay so let me note it down here either you can use strcmp or you can use strcmp i okay now how this function works basically you have to provide two arguments or two strings for the comparison and it will return positive negative or zero value so if both the strings are equal it returns you zero value so i already explained this function so if you want to watch that video i am attaching the link of this video in a description below okay so you can refer that video so here as i told you if my both these strings are equal here i am performing case insensitive comparison so i am using strcmpi 
then the string that I want to match and the array string. So fruits of i. So this will gives me the string at particular row position. Again, for this function also we have to provide the addresses. Look at here. Here also what we did, we specify the array name. That means we are providing address of our string. So here also I have to provide address of each and every row. In this way you will get address of the row. Now if both these strings are equal, it will give me 0. This is 0. So what will I do? I will print the message printf found. Okay. And since I get this string, I will break from the loop. So I will put a break statement also. So if get terminated and for loop also get terminated. Okay. Now what if that string or the search string is not present in your array. So in that case, your loop will iterate till your condition evaluates to false. Okay. See, when you are getting that particular string, you are breaking or you are terminating the loop. So at that time, i's value is always less than 5. But if this condition never satisfy, you will never break from the loop and your loop will terminate when your condition evaluates to false. So when your condition is evaluating to false, when i is equal to 5, your loop condition will evaluate to false. So it will terminate from the loop. So what will we do? We will check this value. If i is equal to equal to 5, it means my full loop executed I, and I do not get that string. So this will help us to determine that particular string is not present. So here I will say not found and your program get completed. Now let us see the practical implementation of this. So I actually wrote the program in a code blocks. I included two files. First one is stdio.h for printf and scanf and string.h header file is also included. Basically it is required for str cmp function, cmpi or cmp function that we are going to use. So here I declare the required variables. Okay. Then the first for loop, this one is used to input a string from a user. So it will iterate through, iterate five times. Then after I inputted a string that I want to search. Okay. And then after the next for loop is for comparison purpose. If we found that particular string, we are breaking from the loop or we are terminating from the loop. And if that string do not match, in that case, my loop will terminate by evaluating condition to false. So this will help us to determine whether that string is present or not. Okay. In that case, the value of i will be what? 5. So this is nothing but your number of rows. Okay. So according to that, you can change it. So since I am iterating 5 times, so that's why I am comparing with 5. So if you are doing it for 10 times, you can write down 10 or whatever your requirement. So let us execute it. So let me enter few names, say mango, say banana, papaya, apple, orange. Okay. Now let us enter one string that is present here and expected output is found. Okay. So here I'll say apple. So it is already there. Okay. Or let me write it in a title case. Apple. Look at here. It is showing you the message found. And since we use strcmpi case insensitive comparison, so this will be considered as match. Okay. Now let us try for not found. So mango, sorry. Mistakenly, I gave a wrong name. Banana, papaya, apple, orange. Okay, now I'll put a mango as a string to find. So this is correct spelling here. I mistakenly gave a wrong name. So definitely, uh, this is not a match in this array. So we should get a message not found. Okay. 
you got the message not found because this string do not match with anything and your loop will evaluate or sorry your loop will terminate by evaluating condition false and at that time i's value is fine okay so i hope you understand this and you enjoy this in next video we are going to see one more program related to array of string thank you for listening